Hey guys, hope you're all doing well today. So it is now uh, the 18th or 19th? I think it's the 19th of November. It's Monday, start of the week, but it's a short week with Thanksgiving literally a few days away. Turkey. Happy Turkey Day. Question for you guys. I'm about to pass out, call it a night, and then I will see you guys in the morning, but I had a short question for you guys. When you guys are relaxing or when you guys need to de-stress, what is your preferred method of uh, of doing it if is it listening to certain types of music is it watching certain kinds of videos is it playing games what kind of games uh, what game do you go to what music do you go to do you go to art what what is what is your or do you read a book I know a lot of people read books for that for me it is watching ASMR videos uh, playing games especially Stardew Valley or Minecraft very relaxing games Pokemon is up there as well um, watching videos that have to do with rain, thunderstorms. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for relaxation, by all means, let me know in the comment section below. And let me know what you, uh, what some of yours are. But I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. I am tired, just edited the last video, put that the, the last video up, number 47. Uh, almost to 50, I'm happy. Like, it's it's been basically around a year now since I've started vlogging uh, when I checked my videos on YouTube it showed that it was a year or some of them were a year ago so it's basically been a year and I'm at 47 now I'm super excited it's it's very it's very cool to hit that number I think my next big number or my goal is going to be to hit that 100 vlog mark as well as um, definitely aim for uh, more viewers uh, more subscribers stuff like that uh, exact numbers. I'm not exactly sure um, but Can only go up so I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Good morning Actually, let's Let's go ahead and turn this down a little There we go. Good morning guys. So it is now Tuesday morning, and uh, I'm about to head out on my travels to work today. Today's gonna be a longer day. You're looking at what it's 730 now um, leaving to go out to Manitowoc and Sheboygan County, which are further up north. Um, once I get done with those, I have an appointment at five to six, and then um, I have to stop at GameStop to pick up a couple uh, pop figures that I pre-ordered. So today's gonna be a longer day. So I'm just gonna plow through it and get it over with. So made it out to Sheboygan and Manitowoc counties. Uh, they're actually close enough to the lake where I was able to take a quick pit stop. Uh, wanted to show you guys what I actually saw today. Look at this. That is beautiful. This is the Mariner's Trail up in Manitowoc County. Beautiful, beautiful area. Nice view of Lake Michigan. Oh, beautiful area. Now I'm gonna head back, do some more work, and I'll see you guys later. I am home. Oh, man, that was... I've been driving, it is now, what, 5, 4.30, 5 o'clock. I've been driving since 7.40 this morning. I'm so glad. I mean, I took a little pit stop to get gas and get a bite to eat, but uh, it was just like a box of Mike and Ike's. It wasn't like an actual meal. So I'm starving too. I haven't really eaten all day. But my mom picked me up something today, and I'm very grateful for this. Um, this light is awesome. I love it. I'm going to keep it as a spare. Um, I'm just not going to use it now for safety purposes. I'll use it in my own home as a spare. But for here, the issue that we're having with it is this light right here, the one that I have my hand on, this light right here will start up very dim. Oh, it'll start up very dim and then it'll go bright. So my mom picked up a new light, so I'm going to uh, get that built real quick and uh we'll take a look at what it looks like i took all this stuff out for the uh oh, there's nothing in there but i took all this stuff out for the uh the light and it's it's like a whole building set it's gonna take me forever these are the instructions the two page instructions so i'm not exactly sure how it's what it looked like this is what it's supposed to look like when i'm done uh it's cool it's got little shelving on it and the light up on top so huh okay well let's see, see how fast this goes 
Oh, and before I forget too, um, I went and picked these up from um, the GameStop in Menominee Falls. So if you're ever in the Wisconsin area, around the Milwaukee area, uh, the GameStop in Menominee Falls, absolutely great, uh, great people working there. Highly, highly recommend that one. Uh, but yeah, I picked up Mickey and Riku both from Kingdom Hearts 3. These were the last two that I pre-ordered from them, so I am all good on GameStop. But now to this. All right, so I got the other light. Uh, installed it took a while, but it's pretty simple um, The only difference is that it only has one bulb where on the other one I had the setting between doing all five three or two and The two was fine. Uh, I did all five when I wanted to light up the whole room if I want to light up the whole room now I Don't know. I'm not I, I don't want to leave the other one plugged in just for energy purposes, but going with only one light bulb wouldn't be bad I mean, it's got a nice setup it's got some shelves to it so I mean it's, it's nice it just feels like I have mood lighting in my room oh by the way uh, Manitowoc before when I was up there if you ever get a chance to visit Wisconsin or if you're in Wisconsin and you want to travel a little bit north highly recommend uh, Manitowoc they have uh, it's, a, it's a big ship maritime place they have a lot of aquatic uh, assets to the area they have a museum based on um, based on ships based on the, the water around the area they have the museum is actually really nice i drove by it and i kind of wish i would have stopped uh they have a huge boat yard they were just uh wrapping it's almost it's weird it's almost like uh like if you shrink wrap something like if you put like i'm not sure what it's called but you put this wrap over it and then if you take like a heat gun to it it kind of like shrink wraps itself to the product same thing with these boats it, at least it's what it looked like on my end uh it just looked like they shrink wrapped the top of them to protect them from the weather, but they were doing it to all the boats and the yachts. Uh, but yeah, the footage that I showed uh, before, beautiful, beautiful area. It's right on the water, and what's weird is that from what I saw of it, it's a much smaller version of Milwaukee. Minus, like, all the tall buildings, obviously, because I don't think there were any tall buildings down there. But it looks like the lakefront down by Milwaukee, which is just awesome. It's just a lot smaller and cozier, it seems, too. A wee bit colder since you're on the, the coastline, but it was still nice. Morning, guys. My mustache is going all over the place. First of all, happy Thanksgiving. It is a kind of a gloomy Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving nonetheless. So I hope you're spending time with your loved ones, your friends, your family, and being thankful for anything you have this year. Even if you've had some uh, rough times, some tough times, you pulled through them and that's enough to be thankful for. So happy Thanksgiving. Even if you don't celebrate it, just be thankful for what you have. Completed just now, the reason I'm filming this is I just now completed the first Spyro game. If you complete it, all the way through, collect all the eggs, uh, uh, help release all the dragons, uh, get all the gems. You're looking at 120% done. 100% gets you all the way to Nasty's loot. Nasty's loot is the very, very, very last level. You only do it after you completed the game 100%. It bumps you up to 120%. That being said, and I felt this way with Kingdom Hearts, I'm making the executive decision that when you have a compilation um, game disc like Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 and 2.8 as well as Spyro uh, uh, Reignited or whatever it's called, um, it's a trilogy. So as long as you have the main game done like Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2 or Spyro the Dragon, uh, the other ones can be put on the back burner as a cleanup if you want to go and play them. I did that with Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5, and I'm doing that with this one now. It took me a little over seven and a half hours to complete Spyro the Dragon. Ripto's Rage and Year of the Dragon, if they match about the same time, seven and a half, seven and a half, you're looking at another 15 hours. I have at least one or two more games that I can actually complete that are part of a different game <laughs> um, in that time frame. So this game, as of right now, I'm putting it as complete and it will be a cleanup game for down the road. Otherwise, it's a fun game. I really enjoyed it. Uh, there were some challenges. The, the only issue I have are the flight schools. Flight school? Flights. Like Sunny Flight was the first one. Um, there were some other flight ones where you're basically, uh, it's like a uh, airplane course type thing. Those are annoying and a bane to this game. But otherwise, highly enjoy the game and I highly recommend it. Oh, and this little bugger came in the mail yesterday and I didn't show it. 
It's the exclusive for uh, Hot Topic. It is the Toy Story. Yeah, Toy Story Sora. Uh, he's got, I don't know if you can see it or not, but he's got the hammer. There, you can kind of see it. He's got the hammer. Uh, really wanted this one. I'm only waiting for the exclusive one that I got from Lunchbox. Lunch, Lunchbox? Lunchbox? Can't remember what it is. I this I found kind of interesting. The launch bot or lunchbox, um, <laughs> um, the website when you check out it looked identical to Hot Topic. Coming to find out, I think it is Hot Topic, or I think it's owned by Hot Topic. Um, when I got an email from it uh, through PayPal, it said uh, you approved an order through hot, uh, through Launchbox, and then in uh, parentheses it said, or yeah, parentheses it said. Uh, um, uh, it said Hot Topic. So I think Hot Topic owns it. Or they own Hot Topic. One of the two. Okay, so I gotta explain this. After beating Spyro, I decided, hey, I wanted to freshen up. So I went and took a shower. After my shower, I decided, hey, I want to trim my mustache. I have an electric trimmer. And my body decided, hey, it's cold. I want to give you the shivers. So I took a nick out of my mustache, and it was a pretty big nick. So I decided to shave my mustache, and I have about a week where I don't have to go into work. I can just drive around in my car and do my work from there. So I'm going to let it grow out. <laughs> For the following week, I shall henceforth be known as Obadiah. I am Amish for a week, week and a half, until this grows back in. <laughs> I may just end up shaving this. I look ridiculous. I look ridiculous, oh my god. I need some wheat sticking out of my mouth. And a straw hat. Or Abraham Lincoln. I wonder how I look in a top hat. Hmm. All right guys, so it's all the end of the day and every time I look at the camera, I see Abraham Lincoln. I am playing Infamous Second Son on the PS4, trying to complete that game. I've had it since I I got the Infamous uh, Second Son bundle with the PS4 when the PS4 kind of like, I want to say it was in like the first year or two that the PS4 came out. Never beat it. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't a bad game. It just wasn't my type of game. Unfortunately, it's a long game. I looked online, I'm only 57% done and I'm about nine hours into the game. I looked online, and they said leisurely, um, even if you're not trying to rush it, it can be anywhere from 10 to 20 hours. I am not looking forward to this game. It's probably going to be another few hours before I even actually get close enough to beat it. There are some things I don't like about it, but I'll get into that once I actually complete the game, which probably won't be for another video. But yeah, I'm going to do that uh, some other time. Now I'm going to pass out, and it's probably about like 12.30 at night. I hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving, and I hope you guys all have a safe um, Black Friday. If you do go Black Friday shopping, I'm not a fan of it. I will stay home and uh, shop from the computer if I see any deals. Actually, I did get a soundbar today for my PlayStation, because right now I'm hooking my headphones up to my controller, and that's how I listen. I'm missing a lot around me, and uh, I wanted to get a separate soundbar, or a separate sound thing so that I wouldn't have to have my headphones in all the time. That was a really good Insignia soundbar from Best Buy. It was only 40 bucks. It was like regular $100, so uh, deal. Cool, I'll go with that. Uh, only issue is it, come, it doesn't come until like December 3rd, so it's gonna be a while. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any comments, make sure to leave them below, especially on my beautiful new Abraham Lincoln or Obadiah. Uh, thing I got going on. I really hope this mustache comes in quick. But um I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. I'm gonna pass out because I am tired. I will see you all later. Take care.